to The Kelly Clinton Show. It all started the first time I saw Carol Burnett on television. I was seven years old, and I knew then that that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Make people laugh like Carol did, sing, dance, act, and have special guest stars. And now that is what I do. When you come to my show, you will get to know me a little better. Like, for instance, how I love bald-headed men. There, I've said it. This is wonderful. You want to see your future? Turn around. This is interesting. my hot-headed wardrobe assistant, Madonica. Oh, and my mom, Ellie, is at every single show. Okay, the woman, every superstar there is, okay? You name one. I will tell you a few. How about I work with Salam Dijon? <laughs> you know, the, the one who is married to her grandfather? <laughs> they also so much in love, I tell you. And they send me a Christmas card every single Christmas, okay? So you should just tell it that many more. First of all, she does an impression of me in her show. Mm -hmm. She likes to call it a tribute. I like to call it making fun of her mother. <laughs> Go ahead, make fun of me, Kel. But God forbid something ever happens to you. <laughs> I slip into a coma. <laughs> you better not give up on me, Cal. You better read to me and nurture me and for God's sakes, pluck my chin hairs. <laughs> you leave me in that hospital bed, sporting a goatee, I swear to God, I'll come right out of that coma and kill you with my bare hands. And I get to sing some of my favorite love songs. My friend became my soulmate. He hates that. <laughs>
know, if I could turn back time, you know, you know what I would do? I would just start from my toes up and rebuild everything. <laughs> oh, wait one minute, I already have. And don't be surprised if I have a meltdown right in the middle of my show. What you say when they carry me away? Be cool, stay cool. Spaghetti Moretti. Yeah. Hey, hey, maybe some of you's heard of me. Maybe you saw me play, you know, I'm a trumpet player. That's why I got this. I play with a lot of people, you know, like, uh, I don't want to drop any names about the Frank Sinatra. Yeah, yeah, not just him, though. I work with, like, uh, you remember Dean Martin? Or hey, you remember Sammy Davis Jr.? I never worked with him. <laughs> I wanted to, but I never did, you know. Anyway, I love this music, man. I love it. It's a very good show. I'm a friend of Kelly's. You like her? Yeah. You better see it, man. And you get whacked. She's a good friend of mine. I think she's going places, man. I think she could really, really get somewhere. Well, she better hurry up. <laughs> hey, hey, she's a beautiful girl, and I've been trying to help her over the years, you know, build her confidence, you know. Because like I said, I've been doing this for many years, you know. And uh, I mean, a lot of people wonder why they call me JoJo Spaghetti, right? And usually, like, where I'm from, People don't ask questions like that. It's like a code of ethics, you know? Blah, blah, blah. Like, you just have a catchphrase here, right? In Las Vegas, right? You say, whatever happens in Vegas, stays in Vegas. That's what I'm talking about right there. I got a little catchphrase from where I'm from, too. You want to hear it? It goes a little something like this. Whatever happens in this room tonight, nobody talks about it, and they get whacked. <laughs> Here for the most part. <laughs> Who misses the big shows and the big bands other than me, huh? We love that, right? Yeah, it was beautiful back then. It was beautiful, baby. I mean, shows were shows. People would like, you know, dress up to go to a show, you know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, they would never wear that. <laughs> What a life, I was in love, put it right here, guys. But at the Sunday I say, I go back to the road, and it got me down, and down, I step on the speaker. Look at me, can't you see I was in love? Well, I hope you enjoyed this sneak preview of my show. I just have to tell you that I did get to meet my idol, Carol Burnett, and I thanked her for inspiring me to follow my dream. Thank you for watching. Thank you.